नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम व्हाट्सअप माय नेम इज सैयद हारिस आई एम अ मेडिकल स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम इंडिया माय क्वेश्चन इज रिगार्डिंग द ट्रेडिशनल मेडिसिन एडवाइज बाय और डन बाय द प्रॉफिट आर दीज मेथड्स टोल्ड बाय द प्रॉफिट लेजिस्लेटिव एंड इफ वी बिलीव मोर इन मॉडर्न मेडिसिन एम आई कमिटिंग कुफ्र बिकॉज आई एम नॉट हैविंग फुल फेथ इन द वर्ड्स ऑफ द प्रॉफिट द क्वेश्चन पोज बाय द ब्रदर इज दैट अब लव एट प्रॉफिट has many hadith is talking about the medicines it's known as tibbi nabwi and the prophet has various hadith talking about what will cure you what will not cure you talking about honey talking blood seed and various hadith. so the question posed by a muslim who is a medical student that if is it kufr if i practice something else if i don't practice the medicine and if i practice like maybe allopathy or the mainstream medicine so is it kufr is it wrong if i don't believe in the word of the prophet regarding the last part of the question is it wrong if i do not believe in the word of the prophet yes it is wrong you have to believe in the word of the prophet but that doesn't mean you have to practice that medicine also practicing the medicine is not fard because whatever the prophet told about the medicine if you follow it's a sunnah the prophet never said it is fard that you should take honey the prophet spoke about the benefits of honey the prophet spoke about the benefit of black seed that in this there is cure for every disease except death but that doesn't mean it's a fard it is sunna it's sunnat muqida prophet spoke about the miswak that if you use the siwak and the prophet said if it wasn't too difficult i had made it fard for every muslim to use the siwak before every salah but he didn't do it so using siwak is sunna so whatever the prophet recommended whether it it is tibbi nabwi whether it is cupping whether it is honey whether it is black seed all these are sunnah it's not a fard it's not fard to do it so but you saying you cannot say what the prophet said is wrong that is wrong you cannot say i don't believe in the hadith that is kufr if it's a say hadith prophet said this and if you deny it then that is kufr you cannot deny that but it's not a must that you should follow it if you're practicing it now you said you're a doctor and there is an allopathy medicine which may not follow the same what the prophet has said it's not wrong at all because allah says in the quran in sunnah al chapter number 16 verse 43 and surah anbiya chapter number 21 verse number 7 fas alu ahl zikri in kuntum la ta'lamu if you don't know ask the person who is knowledgeable so if you get sick who will you ask you ask a doctor so now you are following the guidance of the doctors in today's world he may be an non muslim no problem and the prophet was very clear there is hadith in which when people were hitting the plants and the prophet said what are you doing they hit the plants again there are the plants and there is to be pollination the prophet said well, don't do it so they didn't do it and that year the crop failed and then they realized that when they used to do those action it was mainly helping in pollination and the crop was good so the prophet said these are worldly matters in worldly matters it's not necessary you have to follow everything what i said in matters of deen in religion yes you have to follow him blindly but in matter of worldly things you may or may not follow him it's not compulsory so as far as medicine is concerned there is alternative medicine science has advanced so there is no problem at all in you following what the modern science says but that doesn't mean you have to disagree with the sahih hadith in which the prophet has given treatment you can also use that you can do both together so if you practice a general medicine or practice allopathy medicine which is not the same as the binabwi there is no harm at all you're not doing a sin but see to it you don't criticize the hadith in which the prophet has spoken regarding the cure for many of the disease hope that answers the question